Hello, this is Debbie Drum, reviewing the book, The One Hour Content Plan, The Solopreneur's Guide to a Year's Worth of Blog Post Ideas in 60 Minutes and Creating Content That Hooks and Sells by Mira Coffend. And before I get to my review, I read this book in one day because of the methods that I developed in my book, Read Better Faster. So if you want to read faster, you can pick up the digital copy of this book. I just have the physical copy to show it to you, but this is more of an electronic way of tr literally tripling your reading speed. So I went from being a very slow reader, uh, unable to get through business books in a short amount of time, to reading books in a day, two days, three days, very, very quickly. It helps me consume more information, learn faster, be more productive, and also enjoy reading better. So pick it up, it'll be in the description below. All right, so let's get to the review. This is more of a marketing book, okay? So if you make money with content or if you develop content to make money, which pretty much um, is the name in the game when it comes to marketing online. You need original content and good content and content that people like to read so they'll keep coming back and subscribing to your stuff, reading your stuff over and over again, liking your stuff, everything. Um, you need to have great content, right? So um, Mira covers first, I really, really like, what she says about writing down the goal of your blog. So what is your intention? What do you want to teach the people that come to and visit you? So what kind of holes, if any holes are in your content and you want to fill the gap, right? So you want to really be thorough from A to Z in what you're covering on your blog or whatever it, content you're, you're sharing because you don't want to leave anything out and um, you want to make your readers happy. So I like also what she said about um, the desires that people have. You want to fill those desires. So what are people looking for? Survival, enjoyment. Um, life extension, enjoyment of food and beverages, freedom from pain, fear, danger. Whenever in doubt, you always want to really touch on what people fear, what their pain points are, and try to solve that for them, right? So if you're hitting the nail right on the head on what somebody is um, fearing or they're in pain every day about something and you can help them, then they're going to engage with you and listen to you and read your stuff. A um, couple of other things like care and protection of loved ones, social appro approval, and um, they just, they just want to be informed about this stuff. So you really have to know your audience so that you can help them out, okay? Um, I love what she says about spying on your customers through Facebook. She gives a really great method of how she does that with Facebook groups, which you should definitely check out. Um, she talks about the content tilt, which I thought was cool, where there's you know so much content out there already, but the content tilt is what actually makes you different, what separates you from everybody else who is providing content online, right? Uh, I also love the content and the headline examples that Mira uses. They're different from most of the templates out there. And she talks about digging into pain points again and again, knowing your target audience. Uh, what else? Sometimes we, it's good, it's a good idea to shock people and she shows how to actually do that. So it's like going against the grain. So everybody's saying one thing, but then you come out and you say the exact opposite and why. So that shocks people like, um, saying, you know, if, if you're in health, they're like, why don't I ever, why I don't ever eat vegetables after 5 PM or whatever it is. Right. So people are going to be intrigued. They're like, wait, I thought vegetables were good for you. So they're going to read what you wrote. All right. Um, also she talks about 
how to um, produce the kind of content that you're comfortable with. So this is kind of where I actually disagreed a little bit with um, with her thoughts. So she says like, if you know, if you're a better writer than a video maker, then only produce content in writing because that's not excruciating for you. Whereas video, you might be sitting in a room for hours trying to rip your hair out, uh, trying to produce video content. If it's not for you, then you shouldn't you shouldn't do it. However, I differ a little bit here in that I think that you know not your your whole your entire audience is not like you. So some people like to consume information in different ways. Like some like to read, some like to watch videos, some like to listen. So I believe that you have to cater to your audience, um, your entire audience, not just a specific portion. So. Um, you could check that out, maybe write in the comments as to what you think about that. But I tend to think that if you do not like creating video, then you can always get somebody to create that video for you. All right. I like also what she says about having calls to action at the end of your content as well. And she gives some examples of that. And she also gives, Mira also gives great examples throughout about resources, free resources that you can use to make your content more viral, like click to tweet. She gives a free resource there. Also free resources and how you can interact with your visitors when they visit your blog. So go ahead, check out this book. I give it five stars. Great, great content. Check out my book too, Read Better Faster. Uh, and you'll be on your way to reading more, being productive. And uh, with this book, you'll have great content to go with it. All right. Thanks a lot. I'll see you on the next review.